Right. Well, hey, everyone. Grim Green here today. I wanted to spend a little time talking about a California politician who was recently served to me in my Facebook timeline. As I'm sure most everybody knows, one of the aspects of the vape culture that I'm pretty heavily involved in is that political legislative advocacy side. All of my social media, like I'm assuming all of your social media, constantly, constantly serving me political advertisements. I'm bombarded almost daily with that, hey, I'm a political person and I'm running for office, yada, 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 and here's my campaign page on Facebook. Rarely are they for anyone that I'm not at least a little bit familiar with. Well, about a week ago, I was on Facebook and Facebook served me a sponsored ad for this dude running for the mayor of LA, Joe Buscaino. His campaign video about homelessness in LA is what honestly initially caught my eye because as an LA resident, I can confidently say that this is a pretty out of control issue and an issue that I would like to see some progress made on as well. So I went to his website to see what I could make of this Joe Buscaino. And really his website doesn't do much more than just double down on his initial pitch of tackling homelessness, cleaning up our city, fighting pollution. He wants a city that cares about its people. There's pictures of him high-fiving kids and he's charismatic and he was born and raised in Los Angeles. There's not a lot to dislike about this guy so far, but I noticed something on his website where he mentions protecting our lungs. Now he's mentioning it on his website in the context of air pollution, but that statement was enough for me to kind of just take one small step back and realize, ah, this, this guy's probably anti-vaping. I'm not trying to think overly cynically here, but I have spent a number of years following politics, policy, and vaping, and I kind of just assume that anti-vaping is the default stance of, of most in politics. There are exceptions obviously to this rule, but it's a, it's a pretty big brush that I feel pretty comfortable painting with. So, I did that inevitable search for Joe Buscaino plus vaping. It honestly didn't return that many results, which I'm kind of taking as a good sign. But one thing that I did come across was this article from 2014 titled LA Council Bans E-Cigarettes Vaping at Bars, Clubs, Restaurants, and Some Public Places. Now this passed, obviously, but vaping lounges and stores will be exempt from the ban, similar to exemptions made for cigar and hookah lounges under tobacco smoking regulations. E-cigarettes used for theatrical purposes will still be allowed. The prohibition still requires approval from the mayor. But what I also kind of gleaned from this article is that if the mayor of LA had been Joe Buscaino at that time in 2014, this ban might not have passed because at that time in 2014, Joe was a city councilor and motioned at this hearing for an exemption for bars. Now that failed in a six to eight vote, but Joe Buscaino, when pushing for the amendment, argued that while he supported keeping e-cigarettes out of the hands of minors, the ban at bars would tread on the rights of adults to use e-cigarettes. Whoa, what? He went on to say, although e-cigarettes look like cigarettes, they are not tobacco, and I don't think they should be regulated exactly the same. Adding, I've heard from so many people that they've stopped smoking because of e-cigarettes. Joe Buscaino was literally the lone voice at this hearing advocating for adult use of e-cigarettes. The doctor on hand there gave us the old safer does not mean safe and that although they are less harmful than traditional cigarettes, some e-cigarettes contain some health risks. That's the scientific equivalent of vaping is better than smoking. Technically, yes, but so what? But that's kind of where this story ends for now. Joe Buscaino is running for the mayor of LA and the last time that I can find that he went on record about vaping, it was in a positive light, defending adult access and even mentioning constituents that have quit smoking with vaping. So me, maybe as vapors and harm reduction advocates, let's keep an eye on Joe Buscaino. I'm not saying that he's gonna be our savior. I'm not saying that he's gonna be the same person he was in 2014. Maybe campaign for tobacco free kids got to him between then and now, but what he said then 
kind of gives me a little bit of hope about what he might say now about adult access to far less harmful vapor products. I really, really hope Joe not only sticks to his original convictions, but also follows the science on the harm reduction public health benefit of replacing smoking with vaping. If anything else happens with Joe or in California, I'll do my best to keep you updated. So until then, remember that the science shows that vaping is at least 95% less harmful than smoking deadly, deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. So yeah, no matter what is in your hand, absolutely. Let's keep on vaping. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and then I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so.